Hey everyone, hope you're having a good one. My name is Galaxy and welcome to today's video. In today's one, we are going to be going over a chest run that I've been working on over in the Atlas HQ on Promethea. So if you see, uh, once uh, I, sh I should preface this whole thing by saying you should probably have the whole area unlocked before uh, you start doing the chest run just to like, you know, increase the amount of chests you can do. This area right here that we're going to be going to is uh, unlocked by a side quest, so make sure you have that done, and that's actually where one of the best chests is too. So, anyway, just make sure you're spawning right here. We'll have to teleport back here each time that we finish the run, but that's uh, not really a big deal. Doesn't take too long. And as you can see on screen now, before we get started, I'll put up a map of all of the locations that I have uh, marked where chests are. So I've went, I went through the whole map. Uh, it's I guess it's possible. Slim chance, but possible that I've missed a chest. So just let me know in the comments below if I missed one, and I will uh, I'll update that. But uh, I'm pretty sure I found every single one of them. Anyway, you start off by walking up the stairs and heading to the far left, and there will be a chest right here. And almost forgot, there is an extra chest over here right next to this first one. Forgot to mention it in the uh, video going by, but uh, don't forget to grab that one as well. And then just head back up and continue the run. Next, just turn around and head this way. You'll see this bridge right here, and the next chest will be right on the other side of it. There's that one. Then the next chest is going to be on the outer ring on the other side. Should be just right over these bushes. There we go. Chest number three. So the first three chests are fairly quick. Next, you're going to need to turn from there, and you'll see this opening over here. You can go in the door that was behind that current chest, but I'm pretty sure this method is faster. Going through here, up these stairs, and uh, that's how we're going to get up to the second layer. Then what we're going to do is walk back over to uh, the center of the area. The uh, outlet from inside of the Atlas HQ will come out, and you'll see a staircase. And then right on the other side of that staircase, uh, under it, will be another chest. Right here. Oh, jump. There we go. All right, then you have, after that, just turn around and go right, and the next chest is very close to this one as well. It's pretty possible that you'll encounter some soldiers right here. Uh, I get some spawn in every once in a while, but um, you honestly can pretty much ignore them, if I'm, if I'm being real. They're not, they're not that threatening, and uh, that's where that second... I see this one right there. So turn around from there and just head back. Uh, you can jump up here for a little shortcut. We're going to be heading inside the Atlas HQ. So once we get inside, you're going to want to stick to the left hallway. And uh, we're going to be heading up to the second floor from here. A little ways in, you'll see this staircase on your left. Take that up and make a right. Now this is the area that I was telling you about with the side quest. So you do have to finish the... Uh, Finish the main quest here to get this unlocked, but once you have it unlocked, you'll be able to come inside the secret lab. Enter this door here. Hang a Larry. Go through here. Jump down. Jump in this hole. Turn straight around. And come back into this part of the uh, underground secret lab. And in this door here will always be a Atlas Red Chest. Which I've gotten... Uh, Let's see, that was a bad run. I might I might put on screen some better stuff I've gotten out of there. Because I've been getting some good stuff out of that chest. It is a it is a red chest. So after that, just leave that room and exit straight, and you will see another staircase straight across the way. Just go up that and pretty much do the same thing we just did, but backwards to get out of the lab. There is only one entrance and exit. It, this chest is slightly out of the way compared to the others, but it is a red chest, so I figured it would be a waste to miss one of the red chests on the run. Just head out back to the second floor and come across all the way to the right side. Now start going up this way. Now, it should be right here. I've been having issues with this chest. There's a chest that spawns here. I'll, I'll try to make sure I get footage of it just so you guys uh, know that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> But this chest right here only spawns occasionally. Honestly, doesn't spawn every time. I don't know why that is. Um, it, it, I, I don't know exactly what triggers it. But uh, if that chest isn't there for you, 
just always check that spot since it's just on the way to the next ones anyway, as there might be a chest there. Next, come out front and exit out the front of the Atlas HQ and head over to the left. Now, there will be a uh, Ratch out here every single time. Y you can just ignore them. The Gunners will fight them and whatnot. Feel free to fight them if you'd like. If you really, uh, really hate Ratch, then, you know, by all means, kill them. But if you're here for just the chests, go ahead and skip them. All right. After you open that one, there is one exactly opposite you uh, out here. So just, oh shit, I lagged a little bit. Almost just died. It's fine though. That's not part of the run. You don't have to almost die. So yeah, come up those stairs, take a Larry, and run over here to this staircase where there will be another chest under it. Bam. Now once you've got that chest, turn around and head back inside the Atlas HQ. And you'll see this elevator right here. Hop up in here, and exactly at the top of this elevator will be another chest. Now, if you would like, I will say that if you want to do possibly the most efficient chest run after you get the two chests outside, you might want to TP back and reset the run and just collect the things on this floor as the elevator right here really does take a uh, take a second. And as there's only two chests up here, but one of them is another red chest and there's also a boss up here to fight. So I like to take this part of the run to go get the other red chest and do the boss fight uh, for the extra chance of loot and, you know, money and iridium and stuff like that if you are... Uh, if you're interested in that. Once you're up here at the top, uh, this elevator will let you out. And right behind this desk here is another chest. Uh, as you can see, it's already open. When I showed it to you the first time, I stuttered hardcore. So I just redid that. And, uh, you know, just we're going to pretend like I didn't. Anyways, continue through the next floor of the Atlas HQ. And you'll come up on Reese's desk. And uh, as long as you have the story completed, there should be a big hole in front of Reese's desk. And you can drop down and fight Katagawa. Now, you do need to kill Katagawa in order to open this door to get to the last chest, which is the red chest of the run. So, dudes, once you've killed him, he'll start teleporting around and then kind of explode from the suit malfunctioning. And as soon as that happens, this door will open and right behind it will be the last chest for our run. Let's see if we get anything good. Come on. Oh, shit. No way. What's this? I got a gunner ring? Oh, shit, I got a gunner ring. Okay, cool. And then this is a... Uh... Oh, and I got a storm? Okay, wow. Those actually aren't that guy's legendary that he drops. Neither of those are his legendary. His legendary is called... Um... Honestly, don't remember. But it's an SMG. Anyway, right inside will be this red chest here. And then as soon as you open it, you are good to open up your map teleport back to the fast travel because uh, if you don't you will spawn up top at the Katagawa boss fight and uh, I think for the efficiency of the run it's better if you just spawn down here so as soon as you get down here quit game quit to menu and then do that all again again like I said feel free to just do the bottom nine chests if you're looking to be more efficient as the boss fight does take up a little bit of time but as you can see there are really good chances of getting stuff from the boss fight as well so uh, add that to your run if you don't care the extra time Anyways, everyone, I do want to thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a like on it if you did enjoy the chest run or if you got anything good. Make sure to let me know in the comments if there was anything I missed. Make sure to check the comments as well because I will uh, update the description if anybody finds a chest that I happen to miss out and let you guys know where that is. One last thank you for watching the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.